Hi everyone, um, my name is Lysa and if you can tell by the title, um, this is a, well I hope to be a very short video of just a brief uh, insight into what it's like living with albinism in this country. And this has been a planned video for such a long time. I just haven't really had the time to just sit down and record this video. Um, and record it to, uh, you know, to my satisfaction, of course. <coughs> but um, here's my attempt at it. And um, for those that don't know what albinism is, albinism is basically a genetic condition where you are born without any melanin. So melanin is what basically gives you your skin color, your eye color, and your hair color. So when I was born, I I didn't have uh, I didn't have that. And there are um, four types of albinism, but I'm not gonna go deep into that because um, that's a whole other technical discussion of its own. And I think that that requires another video. Um, but for this particular video, I just felt that. I, I wanted to share a bit about what it's like living with albinism and what my experiences have been just because that just because I haven't really seen this kind of content um, online especially in Fiji's context and I wanted to make one uh, because of that and just to start things off I, I would say that living with albinism in this country has been significantly hard and very traumatic and i say traumatic because um, for many many years i faced a lot of bullying and harassment and teasing from from people that didn't and couldn't simply accept the fact that I looked the way that I looked. And because of the way I looked, I was bullied for it. And it got to a point where it even involved uh, fruits being thrown at me. And um, it just being bullied every single day. And sometimes I'll be on a, a public, you know, transportation, on like a bus, and people walking on the footpath would yell out, Rea! And then they would all laugh. And that made me so embarrassed um, to the point where I didn't like who I am and what I am, and I didn't like how I looked. And I, I, I most definitely questioned God uh, many times, asking him, you know, why, why would you make me like this? Just so that I could be bullied by people that are ignorant and people that have no heart and just common decency. Why would you make me go through this? And, and it's taken me a while, it's taken me a long time to be at a point where I'm able to be proud of the way I looked and to be okay with the way I look, to feel empowered with the way that I look. Um, but I would say that that has taken quite some time. And um, a lot of the times I remember when I would be bullied is every night I would go to bed very 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 heartbroken because I knew that uh, I knew how the day went and how that made me feel and I knew that the next day would be exactly the same and people proved me right the next day the exact same thing happened and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day and and in just in, in just imagine for a second being being me being born like this and and you can't change the way you look you can't go back and say god give me some color so that people don't bully me like you can't alter or reverse how you were born but you were bullied for it 
and you were bullied relentlessly and, and viciously just because of the way that you looked. Like, I don't understand that logic. And that, that, that for a long time was my lived hell. <laughs> and I faced that uh, every, every single day. And, you know, God bless my, my, my sister's heart, um, my older sister, who, you know, passionately would, would defend me and, and would stand up for me. But I, and I owe her such a, I owe her a lot. I owe a lot of, uh, a lot of appreciation, but I just feel that, and one of my biggest disappointments for me is seeing how people who saw the bullying that was happening, who saw the violence that was happening and didn't do anything, didn't say anything. In fact, they even laughed. Some people found it, yeah, very funny. Some people couldn't even care less. Some people didn't even fringe. And some people went on their merry way as if nothing happened. And it's true to that quote that says that evil thrives when good people don't do anything. And in, evil did thrive for me because, because people didn't say anything. And it's taken me such a long time to be okay, being in front of the camera, being able to record myself and be okay with my eyes shifting and my face being extra white or people calling me rare. It's taken me such a long time to be able to, to be at a point where I accept myself for who I am. But for a long time, I didn't because the people around me and the people in this in this country did not accept me for who I am. And that's not to say that there are no good people in this country. There definitely are good people, but there's a culture in this country where people see injustice happening right in front of them and they don't do anything. They don't say anything. They just simply find it amusing or couldn't care less or go on their merry way. And I, you know, I feel for those with uh, albinism right now living in this country, especially the younger kids, you know, and growing up in a society that's very ignorant. I feel for them because I feel that this, that, that they are facing, you know, bullying every day as well. But I feel that not everyone is speaking up. Well, I, I certainly would hope people would speak up, but I, I doubt it that people are. And, you know, to those that see injustice, you know, please speak up. Please, you know, confront the bullies, confront people that are bullying and tell them to stop. Because the learned long-term effect of that bullying and that harassment on that child or that person with albinism is so damaging. That it will take them such a long, long time to finally, to finally be at a point that, where they can get over it. Because I know it's definitely taken me such a long time <laughs> to get over it. And for those that bully, who find it okay to to yell out rare and be okay with it and find it funny, it's not okay. We can't change the way we look. We can't color our faces. We can't do anything to change the way we look. This is how we were born. So why are you making it a target? Why are you bullying people based simply on how they look? They can't do anything about it. They can't change the way they look. They will have to live with that. We already, you know, as persons with albinism, we already have issues, health issues of our own. And then it's, it's, it, it's coupled with ignorant people who, who just, who just lack common decency and respect and kindness in their heart. You know, please stop the bullying. It's not funny. It's not cool. You're not cool at all. All you're doing is that you're damaging a person's life. You're ruining their day. And you're making them feel 
less worthy and less beautiful of them and, and, and less I don't know beautiful of themselves and, and, and for those with albinism I'm not gonna sit here and pretend that it's it's gonna get better it's gonna be okay because I've heard that too and it it, it, it didn't get any better it only got better because I was able to speak up and I was able to I was able to voice my I was able to voice my opinion and, and defend myself and stand up for myself and you know, you know if, if if you feel like you're not ready yet to do that you know report the matter to the police or tell someone about it there's no shame in telling people how you feel because you know how that word hurt, that word rare, you know that that hurt. You know that the, that laugh or that smirk hurt. And your emotions and your feelings are valid. And, you know, seek help and get the help that you need so that the bullying can stop. You know, don't, don't be like me. Don't wait till you're 28 or 27 to be able to finally get over it um, and I just wanted to also remind persons with albinism who might be watching this is that you're beautiful you are one of a kind and no matter what people think of you no matter the words and the teasing at the end of the day they own your opinion that matters is what you think of yourself and you know personally I, f I know for a fact that you are perfect just the way you are and you are beautiful just the way you are keep smiling and, and, and don't give up it got better for me and I know for sure that it will get better for you Yes.